I knit that anchor summer shirt and I added some short rows to raise the back neckline. I used German short rows for it, but the yarn being a cotton yarn, it doesn't have a lot of give. So there are still, particularly on one side, some little enlarged stitches where the German short rows were made. So I'm going to, I've got a tapestry needle and some of the yarn, and I'm going to close up these holes a little bit with duplicate stitch. I'm actually going to work from the right side so that I can see what I'm doing and I'm going to follow the path of this stitch around and then I'll just make sure I weave in the, you know, at the end when I weave in the tail, I'll pull it through to the, the wrong side. So I can see here's the stitch that I want to, to duplicate and I can see that it comes from up here. So I'm going to follow that. So I'm just going to anchor it. Now I'll weave in that tail later. And obviously pull it through to the wrong side and follow the path of that yarn along here so can you see actually as I've pulled it up it's just and I'll probably in fact I will I'll go and I'll duplicate the next one next to it and then at that point I think that's where I will finish it up so I'm going to pull I'm going to now put that in where that came out and I'll pull that just through to the wrong side And then this yarn here, I have to think about where's that going. I want to follow exactly the path. So there it is, it goes in there. So I'll just put that on the needle and follow that path where that yarn is going. Looks like it's going right in there. What I could do actually is pull it back one instead of, because I'm, I'm sort of unsure where I want, where this one's going. This is sort of where the duplicate stitch, or sorry, where the German short row was created. I'm probably going to go back one actually. So see how it's coming through there? I'm actually going to go back in, sort of like undoing a half a one and pull that through. Okay, there we go. So that has closed up where that you can see that's the duplicate stitch there and then I'm going to weave in those ends now um, just onto the wrong side so I'll just show you where that is on the wrong side so I don't want to pull it too tight so I don't want to warp that stitch but that's where it is so just there that's where it is on this side. And you really can't see, it just looks like slightly thicker yarn. It's just covering over where the hole was. And then I'll just weave in those ends like I have done previous times. There's another one there. So I'm going to do the same thing there. Um, I'll, I'll do it, um, feel free to stick around. I'll do, an, I'll do one more. Um, I'll close up that one. But again, I'm gonna close it up from the right side. So I've got another one here that I'd like to close up and duplicate. So this is the stitch here that I want to replicate. And I know that it's going to go this way, like on follow a path there, but I just need to work out where am I gonna start. So if I pull on the yarn just a little bit, I can see where it, where it continues. So that's there, that comes here. So it looks like here, is where I want to start and that's where I'll actually go I'll pull it through to the other side so I'm going to come in here make sure I leave a tail so later I'll just push that straight in through that spot there into the other side and then follow that around and you can see as you pull it actually pulls it in and then that, follow the path of the stitch like that that goes in there 
and then up here and I think I'll, I'll duplicate that one as well let's see how that looks I think that's enough I probably don't need to go any further so I'll finish there pull that through Try not to lose my needle so that one's pulled through and now this one it's only just barely long enough I'll push that through exactly where that is you can see there where it, where it came in pull that through to the other side and then when I weave in those ends that will snug those up a little bit so I don't have that big hole there. So as I pull those ends just a little bit, I'm just pulling on them slightly from the other side. You can see that I've, um, through duplicate stitching, I've closed up that, that hole. 